Just two days after a leak was reported, there are new problems tonight at the San Onofre nuclear power plant. Yeah, we're going to show you a live look now overhead at the plant's Unit 2 reactor where damage has been discovered on dozens of brand new tubes which carry radioactive water. 10 News reporter Craig Herrera spoke to an independent expert and has new details about the dangers of this new discovery. The new problems at San Onofre nuclear generating station were discovered in the second steam generator today. 10 News has learned dozens of tubes need to be examined because of surprisingly heavy wear. The tubes carry radioactive water. Now they must begin testing the tubes on both steam generators in addition to trying to figure out what caused a leak Tuesday that prompted a shutdown of a different generator. Uh, you can't estimate the, the amount of time or money that will be required until you at least understand what the problem is. This could be an easy leak to fix. This could be challenging. But he says there are 9,700 tubes in each of the two steam generators, and that will take several days to test the tubes. They will look for the defect in the tube, then plug it and rely on the remaining tubes to carry the water. Once you get down to about 75% of the tubes available, uh, that's when you need to start looking at uh, putting a new steam generator in. The steam generators are less than two years old, with a price tag of $700 million. Independent expert Rochelle Becker says they shouldn't have this kind of wear already. We're concerned, is this going to be the vendor's responsibility? Are both the units bad? We knew Unit 3 had a defective steam generator. Southern California Edison knew that when they shipped it in. However, there was no defects known on Unit 2. So how many are we going to be finding? Becker also wants to know who will pick up the tab for the repair and the cost to keep the power going to customers. We would not anticipate any immediate changes to customer rates as a part of this issue. SoCal Edison says they are importing electricity from other power plants to cover for San Onofre. But it's costing millions of dollars, and some analysts say eventually that will be tough not to pass on to customers. Craig Herrera, 10 News.